Welcome back. All right, let's get going. We need to make a, another extension class. This one's going to be for Unity Vectors. It'll be called Vector3 uh, EXT. So go to Unity, click on the Scripts folder, the Common folder, right-click in the Common folder and create a new C-sharp script. Call it Vector3 EXT. Double-click on that to open it up, delete the start and update, delete the mono behavior, and turn, add the static identifier. Alrighty. Public stack. The first two methods are both called clone array. Why did we clone an array? Well, because array is a reference. That means if I simply set a one array equal to another array and I change it, I'm actually changing the other array also because it's, in a ref because it's a reference. Now, of course, that's not if I add to the cloned array or to the original array, then I've created a new array and that breaks the reference. But anything else, if I change any value in my original array, or in the new array, then I'm changing both. And therefore we need a method to clone the array. Now Microsoft does have a built-in clone method on everything that you cast with. And it's probably written in native code, but I've still gotten better results with my own little method here. And there may be things that you want to change when you clone the array. So all we're going to do here is a copy basically. Just like in our other extensions. We get the count, do a null check, declare our new array equal to that array, this time just to the count length, and then simply copy it. What's interesting, if our original array is null, <laughs> this will return an initialized array. Simply copy that one, paste, and declare a new one called Now, we could have done this with generics, but uh, I just wanted something a little bit tighter, more tightly uh, tight. We are constantly, since we are procedurally generating mesh meshes, we are constantly needing information about those meshes, whether for positioning things or for debugging and some of those things are width, depth, and height and for width, depth, and height we need to be able to get the max x and the min x for an array of vectors so we're going to do I almost never use the vector 2 version of these but when I'm playing around, I do use them, so I'm including it. I mainly use the Vector3 version for actual vertices. So, it's so a standard get the greatest value and it's for the X so we set our value to the min value of float and as we're looping through it if the UVs X is greater than the min value or our current value then we set that value to it uh, or we set it to that value so copy that paste it change the name to min 
change this to max and flip that to lesser than. So change that to max value. Change the name to min x and then flip this to lesser than. And check this. So copy both of them, paste, change the names to Y, and change all these to Y. I guess you could do a find and replace and not get the IntelliSense. Now, collapse all of them and copy all four of them. Paste, select what we just pasted. They'll all be showing errors. Do a control H to bring, bring up the find and replace. Type in vector two for what we're going to find in our selection and then type vector three of what we're going to replace. So make sure it says selection right here. If it doesn't, then go back and reselect it. And bam, we got our vector three version done. Well, halfway or two thirds of the way done. Colla uh, collapse the Y, copy the Y's again, the max Y and the min Y. Paste them and change them to Z because our vector threes have a Z. And we'll need that for depth. The code should be on GitHub by the time I publish this. So if I'm going too fast, you can go out there and get it. Otherwise, hopefully I'm not. Sometimes I overtype stuff out when I am teaching, when I'm giving examples. If you feel that's the case, you know, you can edit these. Copy both width and height. Select all, control H, and replace vector two with vector three. Copy the height, paste it, rename it depth. Change our Y's to Z. Y, Z. Now this is actually what I mainly use comically. And that is center. Uh, I quite often want to know where the center of something is. Especially for tower defense and any kind of sim, any kind of building. I just like to put my mouse, I would like to have my cursor or whatever in the scene in the right place in the center. Copy and paste, change it all to Y. Uh, change that back to X. Copy and paste them again. Get rid of vector two, change it to vector three, vector roar three, vector three, 
and now get the center Z, copy the Y, change it to the Z. Minz, Minzy, Minzy. Ah, that'll just bug me forever. It's Minzy Maxi. Alrighty. And now, two more little items I like. Vector 2, center. Why not just return that? Return a vector because that's really what we're going to use probably the most. And that's it. That's probably our, I think that's our longest method, is it? Yeah, that's pretty much our longest class thus far. <laughs> it was mainly copy and paste. And like I said, I'll have these posted to GitHub for you. Alrighty. See you in the next lesson.